I was from the Dayton area and I was in high school, this is exactly where I'd want to be this weekend. In the CAC today, we're having a lot of local middle school, high school students coming and playing in various honor bands and they get sectionals and clinics with all the professors. And then we also have a lot of band directors from the area coming in for a professional development clinic. Honor bands are one of the greatest things we do as music educators because people build each other up and, and they learn from each other and they teach each other and uh, then they go back to their schools with new inspiration and new things that they've learned. I'm, I'm learning a lot to play with a bigger band because my school is very small and uh, I think it's a learning opportunity to know how to play with more people. Let's try that, just flutes, 21. It was really cool walking in this morning and hearing hearing all the wonderful sounds from the high schoolers and, and the middle school bands that are playing. It's, it, it's really special. Colleges hosting honor bands is, is something that's fairly frequent. Um, what's unique about this one is having two high school honor bands and then a middle school honor band all happening in the same weekend. Um, playing with other tuba players that are like actually really interested in playing tuba is awesome. But I think it's really great to meet these people that are uh, really invested in their musical careers, a lot of them are. This is a great event for them to learn from us, but it's also great for us to get to know them and listen to what they do and how they work and see how we work together and hopefully uh, encourage them to come to Wright State. The events of the past couple years, so many uh, music programs have really suffered in schools and um, the students have missed out on opportunities and so I hope something like this just really uh, helps them be grateful for the opportunities that they have through music and, and excited about doing more.